That's it. Well, hey guys. Lexi and I are here in the Boundary Waters. That's it. Entry point 37, Tuishawi Lake. Um, I had to change up things a little bit. The water levels are insanely high. I uh, planned on doing the Frost River, but I didn't know if it was going to be an issue with high water levels. So I opted for this. Not sure what we're going to do. We got maps for it this time. Yeah, it's a crazy year for Boundary Waters. Um, parking lot here is actually, I actually picked my permit up at Sawbell. Uh, there was nobody there. I think that lake still has, has ice on it. Yet. Um, but Kwishui was one of the first ones over here on the eastern on the eastern side to lose its ice. So the parking lot's pretty full. So I may run into some people. We'll see. Beautiful tailwind on Kawishi for a change. Decided to change up to the single blade because I kept, Lexi likes to lay to one side. So depending on which way the wind is going, I keep getting pushed. So I end up just paddling on one side with the kayak blade, which is a little awkward. Lexi does a little Shifting in the canoe, don't you, Lexi? Yeah, good girl. Just coming up into the narrows, the north end of Kwishi. Leads me to a little creek into Square Lake. Oh, this little creek just coming out of Kwishi. Gorgeous. This water levels are so high. Very beavery. Very moosey. And very spring peepery. I think I'm gonna get a lot of spring peepers on this trip. It's awesome. I can't wait. I just want to be inundated with them. I love spring peepers. And no bugs so far. Awesome. It's gonna be a good trip. Coming through some burn here. I think this is the part of the Pomogamy, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, I don't think I am. Creek fire. That one is currently the largest one in the history of the boundary waters. So pretty big one. It was a while ago though, so but a lot of regrowth. Pretty cool. And the water levels are so high. That if there are any beaver dams here, I'm just skirting right over them. Look at that dead spruce. Right there at the top of the hill. That one's all black. That's cool. Oh, here's some, here's a beavery dam. All right. Here's a beaver dam. That would have been a leftover. But not today. over there. That's really cool. Very cool. It's a mama loon in her baby. There they go. Alright, come up to our first portage of the trip. Well, 20 rider, 100 meter weight. Wait, no. Lexi is ready to portage. Oh my goodness. I 
can't make her wait. I had to pull the buff out. I didn't think I was going to need it this trip. It is very hot in the sun. It's supposed to be 70 today. Get that in the spring. All temperatures. Except last year. It was just hot, hot, and more hot. And more bugs. This is beautiful. So we got one 5 rod, 25 meter portage. came across this beaver dam. I think there's I think there's supposed to be a little five rod portage around it, but I don't know. So we're gonna come right through here I think. Gonna just line it. Hopefully let's just stay in there. If not, I can put her in. I can put her in right here. Let some more come down here. It's crazy. I don't know if this is the trail or not, but I don't want to risk lining it.
Oh my gosh. It is whipping out there right now. thunder all around me. Oh, I don't want to camp here. It's only two o'clock. Oh, I had like six and a half, six hours before it gets dark yet. This site sucks. Just in the middle of burn, nothing but willow. Scrub willows around. so hard to tell which way it's coming from. It's mostly to the east of me. South is clear. I think it's moving north by northwest, so it's moving further north, probably at twice the rate that it's moving west. But So I'm just like right on the edge of it, what's hitting me. Because it's not even windy out anymore, really. I could easily paddle in this if it wasn't for the thunder. But obviously I can't go out in that. So, we wait.
All right, we got a lull. Unfortunately, I think the rain's done. So hopefully the wind continues to abate. Um, but I, yeah, I can pedal this. So we're gonna go. We're gonna make a run for it for Polly at least. So uh, Lexi's not gonna be happy. I gotta kick her out of the tent. <laughs> Oh. I think she thinks we're camping here. Puppy, we gotta go. Yeah, we gotta go. I'm sorry. But Dad, I'm sleeping. Sometimes you gotta go, do what you gotta do. We gotta go. In. So what we're gonna do is the waves actually they're not that bad right now, but if they were worse than this, uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut into them at 45 degrees. Then I'm gonna go out to where I need to turn so I'm not turning to the wave broadside, if you get what I mean. So we're gonna go 45 degrees and then turn in like that. So we're never broadside to the waves. And also what, else, also what you can do too, is you can just zigzag the pattern um, through the waves. Just always 45 degrees, whether trailing or leading. So yeah, never, never broadside. Alright, we're coming up to the 190, 189 rod portage of Pond, Town Line Lake. about single carrying this one but I don't think I can this long one it's 950 meters so I got a full pack it's like 50 pounds 40 pounds for a canoe with gear I don't think I can do it plus it looks like they're single carrying it so I'll let them get ahead of me I got an aluminum boat Somebody's got to come back and get an aluminum boat. Oh my gosh. The rest of them are Kevlar. That looks like that would be miserable. Okay. So I'm definitely staying on the next lake, uh, be Polly. So it's, and it's quarter to five now, so I could probably make it up to Coma, but I, it's 7.30 by the time I got there, probably seven o'clock. And after the day that today was with all the wind, yeah, we're just gonna take it easy. Plus I'm, I feel like I'm behind schedule. I ran into so many people. They're just chit-chatting for a while. I uh, ran into two sets of guys that were hunting moose sheds back here. That sounds like a lot of work. They're they both packing out quite a few antlers. Um, probably six, six to ten sets each maybe. A couple nice size ones, real nice ones. Huge paddles. So yeah, talked to them for a while. Apparently they walk like miles through this burn stuff this just all this this stuff that i'm portaging, portaging through oh my gosh I, I thought i worked hard there's no way i'd want to do that 
So, yeah, we're just gonna stay on the next lake. Because uh, one of the guys said there's nobody there, so. Which I don't know if that's true or not, but there's there's a lot of sites on Polly. So I should be able to find one, a decent one. Made it to camp. I think the lens is a little hazy. I got some moisture in my camera. Those uh, waves are crazy out there. Um, yeah, we're nice little point here. Got a good tent pad back there. Nice fire pit that nobody's used yet this year. Um, blocked from the wind, but yet I can still go out, sit over there, and watch the sunset. So yeah, it's a good sight. Good sight. We'll uh, get the tent set up. I don't think I'm fishing tonight. Um, I'm not battling those waves out there. Whew. Kind of whooped. Let me show you my sleep system set up with uh, Lexi and myself. So I have two, one, two Neo Air. Uh, this one's an X Lite. That's a uh, camper maybe trucker new york trucker but they're both the uh, wide and large and then i throw my sleeping bag over there so she don't step on it it's bad enough she steps on my pad and then i started trekking with a neo air um no thermarest big thermarest pillow it's like a memory foam type pillow oh my gosh so with the memory foam pillow and these two pads, which cover the whole space of the tent, because now I'm not rolling off my pad anymore. Um, yeah, and I, this thing's awesome. It doesn't weigh that much, so it's just extra space, but yeah, since I started using that, I sleep so much better. Thought that was a tick, it's not. I've taken so many ticks off me already. I don't, the ice just went out, and I'm already dealing with ticks. All right, Lexi's Zonko, she's done, but we gotta feed her dinner yet. Puppy, you wanna eat dinner? Hmm? You wanna eat? Yeah, you wanna eat, don't you? I'll let you know when it's ready. <laughs>
Good girl. Yeah. You earned it. Good girl. Yeah. You eat it, then you can go back in the tent. She's sad I made her come out of the tent because the I left the screen door open. There's actually mosquitoes. Ticks and mosquitoes. Two days after ice out. And I have a treat. Mm. Now, hooch. Almost a full moon out. Tomorrow it's supposed to be full. Right in front of my camp. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So I don't know what I'm going to do the rest of the trip. Because I was held up today. I didn't get as far as I wanted to. I wanted to make it into Boulder Lake tomorrow, but that's not happening. So, I may have to scrap Boulder Lake. We'll see. Oh, I apologize if my face is fuzzy. I still have that moisture on the lens. So, to recap the day. Whew, that was an interesting first day. I always have an interesting first day. Uh, well, last year Ethan and I both lost our boats. Uh, oh, first time I ever went to Algonquin, I, uh, it rained for 24 straight hours. That's the first time I ever went canoe camping by myself rain 24 straight hours. Surprised I'm still doing this. Uh, first time I took Kaylee canoe camping. Um, we ended up miss I ended up misreading the map and we traveled nine hour day, her very first day, 21, 22 kilometers. Big day for uh, oh, however old she was back then. 18 maybe, 19, I'm not sure. But her very first time canoe camping. So, yeah, always an interesting first day. So yeah, so today was, started out, I was gonna do the Frost River, but the water levels are insanely high, so I didn't want to risk it. Even coming in here was, you saw the beaver dam, uh, it was pretty suspect. So I didn't wanna, I didn't wanna risk it. Plus, I kinda wanted a relaxing trip, I didn't wanna push it. So yeah, so started at uh, Kawishui Lake, and then yeah, got stuck for three hours at that crappy campsite that no one's ever camped at ever since it burned. Oh, it put me behind schedule so much. Oh, and then yeah, I just got got to camp here. Um, got to Polly. The waves were kicking. They were. I probably should have just picked the campsite and just stayed anywhere but I was yeah I probably shouldn't have went out in that stuff but I played it safe and the, the prospector does really well it does really well in those high waves and they weren't quite white caps so they weren't quite as bad as when I was windbound so yeah um, actually I got a full moon over there my sunset was behind me enjoying a fire now and some hooch so it's a good day Lexi's laying in the tent she's had enough she 
you did really well today. Really, really well. Uh, I didn't know if she'd get tuckered out or not, but uh, she did really well. Met so many people. We met so many, so many people. And uh, yeah, she did really good with them. They all loved her. So, just not sure what I'm going to do. I was, supposed, I was supposed to make it further today. To look at the maps tomorrow and make a decision. See where I want to do. I might just do like a smaller loop. Maybe I'll just do a there and back. Maybe just go to Adams and back or something. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what I feel like doing. Well, yeah. Come so enjoy this fire. Enjoy a little more hooch. Watch the full moon. And then I will see you guys in the morning. Good night.